Hi pretty pretty simmers, it's pretty pretty plum mob here back for another video and today we're going to be doing something that is very close to my heart and that is making a fairy sim, yay! Um, so if you are a subscriber to my channel you probably know that I love making berry sims and I've been doing a ton of other content recently um, so I haven't had a chance to make any um, until now. So this is going to be a um, berry sim create a sim video that's based on a challenge from the berry sim discord. So I've mentioned the berry discord a couple times. Um, if you are a berry simmer or you're interested in making berry sims, I highly recommend it. It's such a friendly group of simmers and they all have really amazing, beautiful, inspiring berry content. Um, and they're just cool, low drama group of people. Um, so you have to get the mods permission in order to join it, but I can give you um, a link to all of the information for that, which you'll be able to find below in the description. So the premise of this challenge was that you had to send a song into the mods that you thought would be a good song to inspire a berry sim. So Personally, I sent in the songs Sugar Sugar by the Archies and These Boots Were Made for Walkin' by Nancy Sinatra, both a little bit of like a retro vibe. And then basically the admins of this group mixed all those songs up and redistributed them. So you got a random song um, to inspire a new Barry Sim. Um, the song that I got, I, I don't know you guys, it, tell me in the comments below, like, do you guys know this song? Is this a famous song? Because I swear I have never heard it before in my life. Uh, but I got the song five six seven eight by the steps who i've never heard of um but it's got like this like very fun country pop sort of vibe to it maybe i'm just too much of a city girl for it um but it kind of reminds me of like shania twain for any of you like 90s kids out there you know what i'm talking about if you were born after that you probably don't um but you can look up shania twain she's got a fun country pop vibe um and it's kind of like a line dancing song so um the lyrics are about a rodeo romeo and so that's who i wanted to create today and i swear you guys i listened to this song like 50 times to try and like analyze it <laughs> um for any like i don't know deeper messages about who this mysterious man might be <laughs> um but i think it's pretty clear right there in the lyrics he's just a uh, a rodeo romeo so that's who we created today another inspiration for this sim is sawyer from lost um i don't know if that's just like my weird um, association with him but I kind of picture him as like a modern day cowboy a little bit of like a bad boy a rebel doesn't really care what other people think um, but I think Sawyer who is like kind of like a smooth talking con man if you know the show it's maybe a bit harder around the edges than our character here I picture this guy being super soft smoke spoken um, like a real gentleman a yes ma'am type um, who's just like very like respectful and an, an upstanding kind of guy always has his cowboy hat always has his cowboy boots not even sure he would own another pair of shoes um so I think I did give him some gym shoes in his active wear now that I think about it um but I think he just is like an all-american nice um nice boy who would who would who loves his mama and rides a horse <laughs> um p.s please give us horses sims 4 so I feel like I did go pretty stereotypically country with him. I hope that's not like offensive to anyone. It's absolutely my like city girl image of what a country boy would be like. But that being said, I think he is such a sweetheart. I'm so in love with this character. I would love to date a whiskey Romeo type. I also want to point out this boy wears a lot of denim. <laughs> I feel like almost every single one of his looks is like a pair of jeans. And like some of them are a bit like nicer jeans or a bit torn up jeans. But I couldn't find it in my heart to put him in shorts. I feel like he wouldn't be like very comfortable in shorts. He'd want to cover up a bit um, in sort of like a respectful um, down home sort of way. So he has his like nicer jeans and his everyday wear and for his formal look. And then for his athletic, he has sort of like um, a baseball jersey because I could picture that being like something he could play like baseball um, again, like with this like all American theme. And then um, I gave him like kind of like more ripped up jeans for that because he maybe wouldn't um, wear his like his nice jeans that he'd wear on a date or to meet your mama um, when he was playing baseball in the field. So so that is kind of part of the um, inspiration here and, and kind of a little bit behind his style. You can see this is my first round of trying to pick out his traits and I, I went back and forth on this so much you guys. I originally gave him the lover of animals because I figured like if he was a cowboy he'd be like around horses a lot maybe and like other farm animals and maybe he'd even like want to be a vet or something like that um, but I ended up going with the, the soulmate aspiration instead because I feel like he's kind of like looking because he is a Romeo and that's kind of the core of his character. I feel like he's like just looking for love 
of but maybe is the type of guy who's kind of looking for love in all of the wrong places and kind of ending up with girls who aren't really like serious enough for him and getting kind of in these like little flings and things and, and not really finding his his true um love anywhere um so he just kind of kind of keeps trying and he is like a little bit of a flirt a bit of a romantic um originally I gave him this self-assured trait but going with a bit the theme of the song I ended up switching that out for dance machine just because I hardly ever use the dance machine trait and I wanted him to have sort of that like fun line dancing vibe that the song has so I made him like a dancing machine he loves like going out to the bars on the weekends and practicing his line dancing I picture him being like a pretty good line dancer um in addition to to being a cowboy <laughs> um so that's like maybe what he does for fun um and they're maybe not like young hip bars maybe a lot of like old Older folks and patrons too and tips his hat to them and that sort of thing so um yeah that's kind of kind of how I picture uh whiskey Romeo so another fun thing that maybe I just thought of when I was recording this is that I would love to see if anybody wanted to make a girlfriend for whiskey Romeo um and maybe put her on the gallery I would love to look through girlfriends or potential girlfriends for whiskey Romeo if we got a lot of those maybe we could even do like a little bachelor mini let's play sort of thing where we we have him work his way through um some eligible bachelorettes and and see if he can find true love this rodeo romeo <laughs> so if anybody did want to make a girlfriend for him um or any other thing that you want me to see for whatever reason i do follow hashtag pretty plume bob on the gallery um i'll put that in the description of this video as well um but if ever you make a berry sim or something like that um i will always be looking at hashtag pretty plume bob on the gallery um yeah I, I, I will just be there. <laughs> um, so if you want to share your Barry Sims with me or maybe want to make a girlfriend for this lovely gentleman, um, you can definitely upload it to the gallery with that and I will see her. And I will be definitely checking for modded and custom content as well, so don't even worry about that. And then there's one other big project that I just wanted to mention to you guys today. I am doing a Discord server for YouTube creators. Um, of The Sims. So that's for anybody who's making videos, making content, maybe you're looking to do more collaborations or looking for video ideas or um, just to connect with other people doing YouTube either for networking or to create more content or have more ideas, all those sorts of things. Um, I am going to be running a Discord server. Um, so far I have one other lovely staffer who is my Discord master um, named Howling Simmer and he is like the most amazing Discord server person ever. He's doing all my bots for me and stuff like that. Um, but we are looking for a couple of other simmers to be like community mods on this discord um, you will if you are a staffer have your own channel where you can share your content there um, but more importantly we're just really looking for people who are inspired to be part of our community um, and really help this community sort of grow and flourish and become a tool that YouTube creators can use so that being said, I'll keep you guys updated when that officially opens up and we're officially accepting members who might want to be a part of it. But for now, what we're really looking for is people who might want to be moderators or staffers or be involved in the back end of helping to organize these um, events and challenges and collaborations that we will put on as a group. Um, so if that sounds like something that might be interesting to you, you can send me an email. Um, you can find that email in the description as well. Um, and yeah, we'd love to have you on the team. I'd love to to tell you a little bit more about what that's about and what that's going to look like. We'll organize monthly collaborations um, as well as just like facilitate a place, you know, if you want to host a shell challenge or if you want to host, I don't know, any kind of any kind of Sims challenge or video or something, um, you can get in touch with other Simmers there um, to let them know your ideas and to invite them to collaborate with you. Yeah, so just a little bit about that. I think we're coming to the end of Whiskey's um, look right now. And oh my gosh, you guys, you can definitely see where I start to like really overthink his traits and I switch them up like maybe 10 more times just until I get that like perfect cowboy line dancing <laughs> uh, personality that I was hoping to achieve with him. So I do end up with romantic loves the outdoors and dance machine. I love his little like groovy motion when I choose that one too. It is just so perfect for him. Um, let me know if you would date Whiskey Romeo. Is this, if you were a Barry Sim, I suppose, is this guy your type or would you go for a Whiskey Romeo type of fellow? And that just about wraps it up for today. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and for listening to me ramble. I really appreciate it. I really love all of you and really love that you're watching these videos. Thank you so, so much. Um, go ahead and 
leave a comment below if you haven't already. Say hello. Um, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Sewell, Sewell, y'all.